As Gemini 7 blasts off, two American astronauts are away on man's longest ever journey in space. Later, as they circled the world, Gemini 6 followed and the two spaceships rendezvoused a hundred miles above the Earth. On Ascension Island, a tiny British possession in the middle of the South Atlantic, a hundred million dollars worth of American tracking equipment recorded this momentous meeting. Almost as far from America as it is from Africa, Ascension Island is made up of extinct volcanoes, 35 of them. A party of British Marines first landed there in 1815. And it's here that Britain is to play its part in the next big step towards space exploration. Cable and wireless, together with Marconi, are to build a station for a vast satellite communication system which will help to track man's first journey to the moon. The United States Apollo project is designed to take place before 1970. Among all these modern facilities, links with the past can still be found. The old man-drawn fire engines, first used at the turn of the century. The foundation stone of the church shows the date it was built. Today, it serves the religious needs of some 1,500 men, women and children living on the island. There's a hospital too, with a British doctor and two British nurses among the staff. Now it's a race against time to get this million pound tracking station into operation. In 1966, two new communication satellites will orbit the Earth, and through them, British eyes and ears will be following Apollo on its journey to the moon. 